Hi everyone, this is Jason Nichols from ServiceNow. In this little video, I'm going to show you how to set up computer telephony integration with your ServiceNow instance. At the moment, I'm logged into a instructor, training instructor instance of ServiceNow, uh, the New York version of ServiceNow, which was released in 2018. And what I'm going to do essentially is follow the instructions in the documentation. So on this page here, called CTI Demo Installation and Configuration, it shows you step by step how to set this up. And this is essentially what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to demonstrate this for you uh, live and uh, show you how to set this up from beginning to end. It's relatively straightforward, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we are going to activate some plugins that we need. Now, I'm going to assume that you are going to be using customer service management because this, this is quite a typical use case for using CTI. The agents are using CTI to both receive and make outgoing phone calls. So in this instance, I already have customer service management installed, but we need to check first of all whether we have some other plugins that we need for CTI. So let's go to the list of plugins here and wait for the page to load. And uh, the first one that we need is a plugin called Notify. Uh, this one right here. You can see it's already been installed on my instance, uh, but this is uh, kind of like the backbone, if you like, uh, for the integration um, with um, uh, voice calls and also messaging. Uh, the other thing that we need to activate here is a plugin called Open Frame. There we go, open frame. And what do you know, it's also been installed. You may find in your instances uh, that they haven't been activated already, um, but uh, in mine they have. So just check that these plugins are activated before you proceed. And um, the other thing that we need is a plugin called CTI Softphone, which has also been activated and customer service CTI demo data. You don't need this, uh, but we're, I'm going to use this uh, demo data because it does come uh, with some uh, sample data that we need just to make our lives a little bit easier um, when setting this up. Okay, so that's basically the, the three plugins that you need, Notify, CTI Softphone, um, and OpenFrame, uh, as well as uh, customer service management, of course. I'm just assuming that you've already uh, install that. You can also use it for with incident management uh, as well, um, but I'm going to use uh, the customer service management application uh, for demonstration purposes here. So once we've got all that set up, the other thing that we need is a computer telephony uh, provider. So what I've got is a demo account uh, here. Let me just switch over to my Safari browser here. I use Twilio here, so you can sign up for that. You can get a demo account there. It's uh, free of charge. Uh, you can get your own phone number there. Um, just be careful um, when you want to get a phone number. Sometimes you may have to provide uh, uh, authentication details or proof of ID, um, but in some countries uh, that's not the case. But uh, anyway, you basically have a, a choice of in which country you want to get a free telephone number from. So this is my telephone number here from the United Kingdom, and this is the one that I'm going to connect uh, to my ServiceNow instance. So once I've got all that uh, set up, um, I'm going to go back to my ServiceNow instance, and then I'm going to go to my configuration for Twilio. So if I just type in Twilio there, under Notify Administration, there is a module here called Twilio Direct Configuration. So let's open up that. Let's change the application scope here so we can edit this record. You can see here we've got a message uh, not connected to Twilio, okay? So what we're going to do is actually establish this connection. So I'm gonna change the application scopes. The two values that I need basically uh, is an ID for my account, for my Twilio account, and the authentication token as well, which essentially is like a password. So I can get that from my Twilio page here. Uh, these are the two values here. So the, the account ID there and the authentication token. 
okay, which at the moment is hidden. So I'm just going to copy both of those values here and paste them in there. So one and the token two. And once I've done that, all that's left to do is to click on connect. And hopefully, once we get that out of the way, uh, we'll get a message here saying that we are now connected to Twilio. So everything's kind of basically, well, not everything, but at least a connection has been established between our ServiceNow instance and our Twilio demo account. And you can see that the phone number here uh, that I've got uh, is uh, appearing down here. At the moment, with a demo account, you only get uh, one demo number. So that's the one that I've got right here. Okay. Uh, the next thing uh, we have to do is go to OpenFrame. Now, OpenFrame is basically the, you could say, the, the web technology that allows the um, the use of computer telephony uh, integration. So uh, what that will do is give you essentially like a, a little frame in your uh, browser window here, uh, which you can use to make and receive phone calls. Okay, so you'll have you know, the, the keypad there uh, and uh, yeah, you just use that to, as I said, make and receive calls. So what we need to do here is go to open frame and go to configurations and you'll find here there is a, uh, a sample configuration already set up for us here, which is part of this demo data uh, that we got. So uh, I'm not going to go through all of the settings uh, in, in here, but suffice to say uh, that these two groups here, customer serve support and network support, are the ones uh, that are able to use uh, CTI uh, once we activate it. So I'm going to do a couple of things here. First of all, I am going to activate it right there. But what I should also do here, I'm going to come back to the list here. I'm going to make this the default entry. Uh, I'm not sure if this is really necessary considering I've only got one entry here, but I'm just going to do it anyway because this is what the documentation suggests uh, that we do or tells you to do. So uh, default is currently set to false. So I'm just going to change that to true. Okay, so we've got our open frame configuration there connected to CTI, uh, it's active and it is the default uh, value there. Okay. Um, the final thing that we need to do is basically, I mean, this is basically all set up now. Uh, there's only uh, one or two small things that we need to do. And that is basically to tell the instance what to do when we actually get uh, an incoming phone call. So there is, uh, or there are different workflows uh, that we provide out of the box for that. So you know when you call customer support, you're presented with a, a menu usually asking you, um, is your case related to a network issue or a software issue or whatever? And then you usually have to go through pressing a collection of numbers. Um, maybe a suggestion, don't make that menu too long. Uh, it can be frustrating, um, but usually we use that to route calls to the right department and so forth. So basically we set up something similar uh, to this here in our, in our instances. So if I go now to, to notify, and if I click on numbers here, we'll see this is the number that we've already got configured. Uh, this is the one that is coming from Twilio. If I open up that, uh, we can see um, yeah, the details there. And then we've got uh, a number group or a notify group. So I'm just going to, for demonstration purposes, uh, just click on the on call group. So if I click on that, I'm going to save that here. And then I'm going to go to my number groups here and go to that on call group. So that's basically that. So let me go back here a bit. Sorry for clicking around. This notify group record here, this value is a reference. Uh, to this module, the, the table that's linked from this module, number groups. Uh, so if I open up that record right here, we'll see there are uh, references here to different workflows for incoming uh, calls, for outgoing calls, and the same for um, incoming and outgoing uh, messages. So I'm just going to select uh, an incoming call workflow. You can see here we've got quite a few out of the box here. Um, so I'm just going to select uh, let's see, I'll just select call center, it's just a standard one there. So I'm going to save that record. We can actually have a look at that. We can actually have a look at that workflow uh, right here. Show workflow. 
and if we come here uh, yeah so basically when we get an incoming phone call now we're going to start this workflow uh, we're going to run a script and basically we're just going to ask the caller uh, a series of questions uh, validate the answer and then forward the the call to the right um, uh, user group I suppose um, yeah so this is all using some um, special workflow activities uh, so if we go to core here and then go to notify in notify here we've got a, a lot of uh, workflow activity types specific for CTI here that you can use but anyway you can have a look at this uh, workflow in your own time uh, just to get the hang of what's going on in here uh, but basically we are all ready to go now we've set everything up uh, we've activated the relative plugins uh, we have established a connection between our instance and our Twilio account uh, we have uh, specified a um, or we've activated rather the, the CTI um, uh, entry for open frame and then we've linked the, the phone number uh, that we've got to um, a so-called uh, phone number group which is then linked to a workflow so let's go ahead now I'm going to test this by impersonating someone in the customer support uh, group uh, John Jason well, actually I could have just done this because I've already established a, a different session uh, and I was already logged in as John Jason so You'll find uh, that this is my other session that I've already uh, logged in uh, to. Uh, you'll see here there is no uh, telephone icon here. So, but if I just refresh the page now after making all those changes, ta-da! We get this uh, icon here. And when we click on it, we get this open frame here that allows us then to make and receive phone calls. So, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm just going to simulate. Uh, an incoming phone call. So I'm going to set my status to available. In other words, I'm available to receive incoming phone calls and just close that. And now I'm going to get out my phone here and I am going to call the number that I created in my Twilio account. So I've got my phone in my hand right now. I'm going to call it Okay, I will. It's ringing. Welcome. Please press one for software issues. Ah, uh, no. Please press two for network issues. Yeah, it's a network issue too. Please press not. Please press one for an existing case. Please press two for connecting to customer care agent. Ah, uh, let's press, press two. Please press nine to go back to me. Connecting you to a customer care agent. Okay. And now the test. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Incoming phone call. So if I accept it, click. Yes, I use my microphone. Thank you for using your demo account. Please upgrade to a full account to remove this message. Yes. Okay. All right. And now we're going to get some weird feedback here because I'm actually making a phone call and receiving it at the same time. <laughs> All right, so let me just cancel that. All right, close that call. Uh, so anyway, it does work. Uh, what you'll also find here if I want to make outgoing phone calls um, is that I can, uh, let's see, I'm going to open up this case here. Uh, that is for the Boxio account. It's just a demo account that we've got here. And uh, Julie Lewis is actually a contact. Let me dismiss these messages is actually a contact uh, for Boxio and I have added my telephone number uh, to her account record. So you'll get this little um, uh, icon here to make phone calls and then you can just select the, the right number here to, to dial the number. Thank Oops, you for me, using your... Let me just close that because I don't want to make the phone call. Uh, but yeah, but basically that is set up all ready to, to work now to make and receive phone calls. And what you'll find also is that if I come down here, let me just uh, refresh uh, this list here. We do have a phone um, uh, list right here, a related list that will actually record the uh, outgoing incoming phone calls that you've made for a particular case. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, a short and sweet demo just to set up CTI quickly. So if you want to use it for demonstration purposes to demo to a, a customer um, or just try it out, um, that's basically how you do it. But for any further information uh, on this, I would refer you to uh, this page right here, CTI Demo Installation and Configuration. And there's a whole bunch of other pages here related to setting up CTI. Okay, so thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and see you next time.